Good morning. Good afternoon. And good evening. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Omer, and I'm a doctor. My passion is to share valuable knowledge that can enhance and potentially save lives. My mission is to empower you with information that can make a real difference in the world. In this video, I'll be discussing everything you need to know about motor neuron disease, including its causes, symptoms, treatment options, and much more. So, let's get started. Motor neuron disease, MND, is a progressive neurological disorder that affects the nerves in the body that control movement. These nerves are called motor neurons and they're located in the central nervous system, which consists of the brain and spinal cord. The most common type is known as amyotrophic lateral sclerosis ALS. MND is a rare condition that can affect anyone but usually develops above the age of 50. Around 2 out of 100,000 people develop the disease every year, and it is estimated that around 300,000 people around the world are currently living with this disease. Understanding Motor Neuron Disease MND is a degenerative disease that affects the nerve cells known as motor neurons which are responsible for controlling the muscles in the body. These motor neurons degenerate and die over time, leading to muscle weakness and eventually paralysis. MND can affect different areas of the body, including limbs, so the ability to walk and move, speech, swallowing, breathing, MND is a progressive disease, meaning it gets worse over time, and unfortunately there is currently no known cure. The main aim of treatment would be to manage the symptoms and achieve the best possible quality of life. Types of Motor Neuron Disease Motor neuron disease is an umbrella term that encompasses several different types of disorders, each with its own unique set of symptoms and characteristics. It's essential to understand the different types of motor neuron disease to effectively manage and treat them. The most common type of motor neuron disease is amyotrophic lateral sclerosis (ALS), also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. ALS affects both upper and lower motor neurons in the brain and spinal cord. As a result, individuals with ALS may experience muscle weakness, stiffness and shrinkage, atrophy, and eventually paralysis. This type of motor neuron disease typically progresses rapidly, and individuals with ALS may have a life expectancy of only 2-5 to five years after diagnosis. Another type of motor neuron disease is primary lateral sclerosis PLS, which primarily affects the upper motor neurons in the brain. PLS progresses more slowly than ALS and may cause stiffness and spasticity in the limbs, as well as difficulty with balance and coordination. While PLS is a rare form of motor neuron disease, it can still significantly impact an individual's quality of life. Progressive Bulbar Palsy PBP, is a type of motor neuron disease that primarily affects the motor neurons in the brainstem responsible for controlling the muscles involved in speech and swallowing. Individuals with PBP may experience slurred speech, difficulty swallowing, and excessive drooling. PBP can also cause respiratory difficulties, making it particularly challenging to manage. Life expectancy is usually between 6 months and 3 years from the onset of symptoms. Spinal muscular atrophy SMA, is a genetic disorder that affects the lower motor neurons in the spinal cord. SMA typically presents in infants or young children and can cause weakness and atrophy in the limbs, as well as respiratory difficulties. Advances in genetic testing have allowed for earlier diagnosis and more effective treatments for SMA. Kennedy's disease, also known as spinal and bulbar muscular atrophy SBMA, is a genetic disorder that primarily affects men. Kennedy's disease is caused by a mutation in the androgen receptor gene, leading to degeneration of the lower motor neurons in the spinal cord. Causes of Motor Neuron Disease the exact cause of motor neuron disease is not fully understood. However, there are several known risk factors and genetic mutations that can increase the likelihood of developing the disease. One of the most significant risk factors for motor neuron disease is age. As we age, our risk of developing the disease increases, with most cases occurring in individuals over the age of 50. Additionally, men are more likely to develop motor neuron disease than women. 
Genetic mutations are also a known cause of motor neuron disease. Some forms of the disease, such as spinal muscular atrophy SMA, and Kennedy's disease, are caused by specific genetic mutations. In other cases, such as amyotrophic lateral sclerosis ALS, genetic mutations may increase an individual's susceptibility to the disease, but other environmental or lifestyle factors may also play a role. Environmental factors, such as exposure to certain toxins or viral infections, have also been linked to motor neuron disease. For example, exposure to lead or mercury has been associated with an increased risk of developing ALS. Additionally, a history of smoking or head injuries may also increase the risk of developing motor neuron disease. While the exact cause of motor neuron disease is not yet fully understood, continued research and understanding of risk factors and genetic mutations will allow for earlier diagnosis and more effective treatments for individuals with the disease. Symptoms of motor neuron disease The symptoms of motor neuron disease can vary depending on the type of disease and the individual. However, all forms of motor neuron disease are characterized by progressive weakness and atrophy of the muscles. Some common symptoms of motor neuron disease include Muscle weakness Muscle weakness is one of the most common symptoms of motor neuron disease. It typically begins in the limbs and gradually progresses, affecting other areas of the body over time. Individuals with motor neuron disease may have difficulty with activities such as walking, climbing stairs, or lifting objects. Muscle atrophy As the disease progresses, muscle atrophy, or shrinkage, may occur. This can result in a loss of muscle mass and a noticeable decrease in strength and mobility. Spasticity in some forms of motor neuron disease, such as primary lateral sclerosis PLS, spasticity or stiffness in the muscles may occur. This can make it difficult to move and can also cause pain or discomfort. Difficulty with speech and swallowing Motor neuron disease can also affect the muscles involved in speech and swallowing, making it difficult to communicate or eat. This can be particularly challenging and may require the use of assistive devices or modifications to diet and speech therapy. Breathing difficulties As the disease progresses, individuals with motor neuron disease may experience respiratory difficulties, such as shortness of breath or difficulty breathing. This is because the muscles that help us breath are also being affected. Diagnosis of motor neuron disease Diagnosing motor neuron disease can be a challenging process, as the disease can mimic other neurological conditions. A combination of clinical evaluations and diagnostic tests may be used to diagnose motor neuron disease. During a clinical evaluation, a physician will review an individual's medical history, perform a physical examination, and assess for signs and symptoms of motor neuron disease. Diagnostic tests, such as electromyography EMG, nerve conduction studies NCS, and transcranial magnetic stimulation test TMS, may also be used to evaluate nerve and muscle function. These tests can help to detect nerve damage and evaluate the extent of muscle weakness and atrophy. Other tests such as a brain MRI scan may be done to exclude other potential causes of your symptoms. Treatment and Management of Motor Neuron Disease Currently, there is no cure for motor neuron disease. However, there are several treatments and management strategies that can help to improve quality of life and slow the progression of the disease. Treatment and management strategies may include Medications Certain medications, such as Rilazole, have been approved by the FDA to slow the progression of motor neuron disease. This medication works by helping to reduce a certain chemical called glutamate which in turn may help to reduce damage to motor neurons and prolong survival in individuals with the disease. Assistive devices Assistive devices, such as mobility aids or speech therapy tools, can help to improve mobility and communication for individuals with motor neuron disease. These devices can be tailored to an individual's specific needs and may include braces, canes, or communication devices. Your healthcare professional will be able to tell you more about this. Physical therapy Physical therapy can help to improve strength, flexibility, and range of motion for individuals with motor neuron disease. A physical therapist can develop a personalized exercise program that targets specific areas of weakness or atrophy. 
respiratory support as the disease progresses respiratory support may be needed to help individuals with motor neuron disease breathe more comfortably this may include the use of ventilators or other breathing devices living with motor neuron disease living with mnd can be challenging both physically and emotionally people with mnd may experience a range of emotions including frustration anger and depression it's important to have a strong support network, including family, friends, and healthcare providers. Support groups and counseling services can also provide valuable emotional support and guidance. I have provided some links in the description. Financial assistance may also be available to help with the cost of medical care and assistive devices. Prognosis the prognosis for MND can vary widely depending on a variety of factors such as age of onset, the speed of disease progression, and which parts of the body are affected. On average, people with MND typically survive between 2 and 5 years from the time of diagnosis, although some individuals may live longer or shorter. However, there are also cases where individuals can live for decades with the disease, especially if it progresses more slowly. Advocacy and Awareness Raising awareness about MND is crucial for improving understanding of the disease and supporting people affected by it. Advocacy groups, such as the ALS Association and the Motor Neuron Disease Association, play a critical role in advocating for research, raising awareness, and providing support to people with MND and their families. One way to support advocacy and awareness efforts is to participate in fundraising events, such as walks or runs, to support research and support programs. Another way to help is to advocate for public policies that support people with MND, such as increased funding for research, improved access to healthcare, and disability rights. Conclusion Motor neuron disease is a challenging and complex condition that affects many individuals worldwide. While there is currently no cure, there are treatments and strategies available to help manage symptoms and improve quality of life. By raising awareness, supporting research, and advocating for policies that support people with MND, we can make a positive impact on the lives of those affected by this disease. And that's it guys, I tried to make motor neuron disease super simple for you. My wish is that this information will be a helpful resource for either you or someone you love. As a full-time doctor, my goal with this channel is to share my medical knowledge with all of you to help improve your overall health and well-being. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing for more helpful content just like this. I'll be publishing a new video every week, so if you have any suggestions for future topics, please leave a comment below. Until then, take care of yourselves and stay healthy.